the major overwhelming change is that uh, people both on the autism spectrum, people with ADHD, other conditions that are neurodevelopmental in nature are now speaking up. They are taking the bull by the horns. They're taking the reins. And they are not only creating or, or suggesting changes in public policy and in laws, but also in the workplace, in schools. Up until the mid-1980s, we, we could only guess what the experience of autism was. Now there are thousands of autistic people who've written books, who speak, um, give lectures, and all of these people are teaching us what the experience of autism is, and also what has been helpful for them and what is not helpful for them. So, so much now is guided by the voices of autistic people. Instead of people just talking about them over them. Or, or guessing what their experience is like, yes. So let's talk about your book, Uniquely Human. Walk us through what inspired it and what it focused on, what, what people can expect essentially. Yeah, in my book, Without you know, giving it away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first of all, it's important to know it's a storybook, okay? Um, I've done you know, lots of publishing in technical journals and in so-called scholarly volumes for professional audiences. Um, but I learned so much by telling stories about what I learn from autistic people and autistic children and also their families. So it's a book of stories, but I also fold in research. And I guess the, the real crux of the book is the title, Uniquely Human. Let's not look through kind of the technical term is the lens of pathology. Let's not just look at the difficulties and the challenges that people on the spectrum have or people with ADHD. Let's look at them as human. We are all good at some things. We are all not so good at other things, okay? And we want to understand that sometimes when you see autistic people, or people with ADHD, it's more extreme, okay? So they may be very good at some things, but really challenged at other things. Challenged to the extent that they're gonna have difficulties in school, maybe in an employment setting if people don't know how to support them correctly. So Uniquely Human is really about trying to get people to respect that because we all have different neurological systems and different brains, that we think differently, okay? We process sensations, sounds, sights differently. We have different emotions, some of us are rather kind of low-keyed and calm, and other people have much more higher anxiety. But if we recognize that that's something for all people, it helps us to support people who have more extreme challenges and even strengths in different ways.